once upon a time in a dense jungle where there were lush green trees animals used to live happily but sometimes they really get scared do you know why because in the jungle there lived a foolish lion and a clever rabbit the lion known for his strength and power and he was feared by all the animals in the forest he was so strong and always roar when he really needs anything with his this strength everyone gets scared there lived clever rabbit in the jungle also on the other hand this clever rabbit was small weak but he had a quick mind and a clever tongue yes with this quick mind and clever tongue he can trick anyone in the jungle so one hot summer day when the sun was really scorching and beating down on the jungle the lion grew thirsty he roared loudly calling out all the animals i am the king of the jungle bring me water or face my wrath ha 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 i am waiting the animals trembled in fear not daring to disobey the lion they hurriedly gathered near the river each carrying a small cup of water in their mouths to offer to the lion because they had a really small mouth so they carried so little water everyone was so much scared because they knew that the lion is so big and their water will not be enough for him but still they managed to bring the water to the lion as the animals presented their cups the lion eagerly drank the water but the clever rabbit watching from a distance noticed that the lion is still thirsty as the rabbit knew that the water will not be enough for the lion because he is so big so he went to the lion in front of him standing and said that your majesty the rabbit said approaching the lion cautiously i have a suggestion that might quench your thirst completely the lion curious but cautious asked what is your suggestion little rabbit the rabbit replied your majesty there is a magical pond deep within the forest that contains the purest and sweetest water you have ever tasted its water will satisfy your thirst forever the foolish lion's eyes widened with excitement He roared, "Take me to that magical pond, rabbit, and I shall reward you handsomely." The clever rabbit, with a mischievous smile, agreed and led the lion deep into the forest. They walked for hours and hours until they reached a clearing with a shallow pond. The sun's reflection made the water shimmer, adding to its allure. This is the magical pond, your majesty," the rabbit said, trying hard to hide his amusement. As the pond was really looking so beautiful, the foolish lion got very excited to drink the water. The lion eagerly rushed to the pond and bent down to drink. But as he took a sip, the water barely wetted his tongue. Perplexed. The lion tried again and again but the water remained just out of his reach. The frustrated and exhausted the lion turned to the rabbit and growled, "You tricked me, rabbit. There's nothing magical about this pond." The clever rabbit chuckled, replying, Oh your majesty the magic of this pond lies not in its water but in the power of your own imagination you see the more you believe in its magic the more satisfied you become but alas 
Your lack of wisdom prevented you from experiencing its true enchantment. The foolish lion felt ashamed of his gullibility. He realized that he had been outsmarted by the clever rabbit. With a nod of appreciation, the lion admitted defeat and walked away leaving the pawn behind. From that day forward, the lion learned to be more cautious and wise. The clever rabbit continued to use his wit and intelligence to navigate the jungle, outsmarting any danger that came his way. And although they were different in many ways, the foolish lion and the clever rabbit learned to coexist peacefully, each respecting the other's unique strengths. And so their story spread throughout the jungle, teaching all the other animals that intelligence and cunning could sometimes trump over sheer power, reminding them that one should never underestimate the power of a clever mind. So this is the end of the story. I hope you like it. Bye-bye.